Now we are live. Now we are live. We are. Yep. Okay. Episode. Tell him. Seventy-five. Wow. Three fourths of the way to a hundred. Damn, that's math. If I've ever seen it. Yeah. Uh, what's we do? We got what is what's today? Thursday morning. I'm gonna go to Brandon's later. Same shit every fucking Thursday morning when we talk about this. I'm just a training machine, dude. Just a training machine. The last two weeks pretty much felt like fight camp, which I'm trying not to do. But I'm doing anyway. What is it, what is it like <clears throat> 10 weeks right now? No, Roughly? it's 11 and a half. Oh, it's still 11. Yeah. You got a booger? No. <sighs> I feel it. Um, Yeah, 11 and a half. So something Dan and I and uh, uh, Brandon talked about was not getting too disciplined too far out. It's hard. It's hard not to. Pretty much been training like fight camp, but uh, it's good. You know what I mean? Have you gotten any of those results back from Dan the man? Um, he said, I got he got a couple back. He said um, my gut bacteria looked really solid. There was really no foods that was that was redlining that was causing inflammation, wow. which is, was a first time in my testing labs career that I've, my gut's been super good. So that's been uh, that was good. Have you felt that? Like, do you could you notice that? Would you been able to kind of be like, oh, I, I know when I eat stuff that I shouldn't, like too much sugar, be- like before bed. If I had too many of these little cookies, Danny bought Danny bought them, so it's her fault. <laughs> First of all, she doesn't care about your future. Um, man. I get high, and then I have one, and then Danny leaves, and I shovel three more down. Yeah, and then I blame it on her. I'm like, Danny, let's each have one more. <laughs> let's each have one more. That's the best one. <laughs> so I know when I eat too many snacks before bed, my tummy hurts. But that's probably not. That's my. That's just my own fault. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. You just got back from where? California, Laguna Beach. Was a fire? It was actually. We were like our little Airbnb was right on the ocean. Like you'd wake up and you'd literally just look out. And just you two? Yeah, just us. We ended up meeting Lacey though and went paddle boarding, mm. which was pretty fun. I saw that. I but, saw that. Yeah, it was actually a really good time, man. Good food down there. Holy fuck. Yeah. Everywhere I yeah. ate, I California's was like... California's got fire food. Yeah, I wanted to go back to, like, every single place I ate. But no, we just pretty much kicked it for, like, three days. The, our little condo had, like, no Wi-Fi, so we pretty much were just... Really? I killed my Chilling family. on the beach and being beach bummed, walking around, sightseeing a little bit. But it was actually really enjoyable. And now Alana flies to Hawaii soon? Yeah, Saturday. <laughs> Saturday morning. Busy, busy bumblebee. I know. And That's crazy. I'm about, I'm about tapped out of traveling. And you got a, what are you flying? I fly Wednesday to Hawaii for a week. Damn. I know. You're just a traveling fool. I was so fucking tired yesterday. I didn't even do anything. I drove like six hours back home. And when was the last time you streamed? I got a stream um, last Saturday for like three, four hours. Oof. And I've been gaming again. Fuck, dude. Just addicted back to it. Just, it's just oh. so fun. Do you want to hear something funny? Some better laugh. Reddit user was like, took a deep dive on Kyle, Kyler Murray. And when it was double XP weekends, he played worse every weekend. He, there was a double XP weekend in Call of Duty. He played worse in the NFL. <laughs> like on like really? five to six analytics stats that this guy compiled together. <laughs> kind of, it was pretty funny. That is actually kind of funny. But um, yeah, Call of Duty has been fun again. Just been playing with the boys. It's so fun just throwing that headset on and just bullshitting with the boys, especially Sono, Fake Christian, um, Schmitter Shitter. Uh, who else has been playing with War? He's just constantly vaping, so that's just annoying. But yeah, you've been gaming with Foul still. Foul, I haven't played with Foul in a while. Really? I've been hitting that little Fruit Loop up. You know what I mean? And he said, I don't know what the hell he's been doing. Wow. Probably catching up to him in skill level, though. I would guarantee that. I doubt it. I'm definitely doubting that. You never know, though. I was, I was taking a shower yesterday. I'm like, God, warm water. Is that too loud? I don't know. Um, warm water. We're sitting in the shower. I'm like, okay, well, pretend we didn't have warm water. We'd have to shower with a cold shower, which would suck, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. Life would still be good. But imagine how much better life is. That you can turn that little shower knob to warm water. It makes life even that much better. Yeah. It's crazy. I was mind blown in the shower. I'm like, whoa, what if I couldn't shower with warm water? But you would never have known it? or what? Because Either. you never would have known Either. it. You probably would just be well, no. getting used to it. I mean, if, I don't know. Speaking of warm water, I'm sweating. I woke up like this. So, just let everyone know. 
I don't think anyone's surprised. We're going me, Brandon, Tim, Mariah, Chelsea, Danny are going up north this weekend to Sedona. It's going to be lit lit. Petrie's freaking out outside. So For a little bit of a... There's a creek right there, right in Sedona. It's going to be fire. Take a little just, ayahuasca. And, no, not really. Maybe do a little mushrooms. But uh, yeah. I'm about to go punch Petrie in his throat if he keeps barking right now. Um... Don't yeah. punch him, man. So what kind of news we got? We got, well, it's kind of old news, but kind of new news. Jake Paul versus Ramen Jr. I think uh, Chael called him Top Ramen. Uh, got, is, it's not happening. I'm fucking crazy shit. I don't know. I, I don't remember if we talked. We didn't talk about that, did we? No. The, I don't uh, think me and This Tim has been relatively new. It's um, a couple days. Yeah, this was supposed to be this weekend, August 6th. And yeah. supposedly Top Ramen couldn't make weight at 200 pounds. The commission wanted to monitor his weight. He was only, but then I was here and he wasn't even planning on cutting the weight. He was just going to say, take the cheapest amount of money he made, but just try to knock up Jake and that would have been worth more. Um, so then they bumped the fight up to 205. Then Top Ramen said he couldn't make it to 205. I don't know. I'm just sitting, get some bits and pieces of that It shit. sounded like Top Ramen, he could have made 205, but it sounded like there may have been a contract stipulation where they wanted him to make that weight more naturally not do the 10 pounds of water weight so then he would have been right back up to 215 the next day that makes sense so they wanted him to have more natural weight cut to where he's losing actual pounds so when he comes to fight jake it's more closer to the 205 because he said he could make 205 tomorrow he said he might try and make 205 tomorrow just to make jake look bad oh that would be interesting i doubt he'll do that but that would be interesting huh that That makes a little bit of sense if if jake's team wanted Top Ramen to come in at a more natural 205 rather than cut the weight. I wonder what Jake's watch, walking around naturally at. God, it's crazy. We're talking yeah. pounds, but still, if pounds and fighting are a lot. Jake can't. He has to be walking around around, like, what? 205. 205. Yeah, Jake's a big boy. Yeah. He's a thick bastard. Uh, that sucks. I was kind of excited. That. I was definitely more excited about that than the UFC this weekend, even though the UFC this weekend is headlined by the most successful UFC Dana White's Contender Series alumni that's ever stepped foot in the octagon, Jamal Hill. <laughs> he tweeted that, but I was thinking, I tweeted at something back, but I never yeah. went and looked back. I said, well, because he tweeted, let's find it. He said, do you want to know his reply? Oh, he said something back? Yeah. Oh, what did he say? He said, let's, we'll start with knocking out top people in I guess division. In his in his defense... I should have done research and looked up who he's fought because I've never even heard of his name. So I didn't know who he's fought. So he could be. He had just KO. I think he's coming off a KO win against um, Johnny Walker. Oh, see, that's pretty impressive, even though Johnny Walker's like on a little. St- Let me see. That, see, that could have been my fault. I should have looked up who the hell he was. He beat Jimmy Crew, lost Paul Craig, beat Ovinson Pru, which is a big win. But. But when I was thinking of successful, I'm like, who's made more money? I'm fighting the number one contender. Who knows your name? Who knows my name? I was thinking success in a different world. Like, what other most people think of success. Well, if you want to even think about success in another way, I'm pretty sure someone's gotten a title shot off the Dana White Contender Series. And I can't think of... Alex Perez just did. And he got beat in like 12 seconds. Well, I mean... That's not... But getting a title shot... Success is money... And fame. That's what fucking success is to most people. When you just say the word, are you successful? Have you made money? Yeah. If we're doing that, I beat everyone times five. That's funny. That was just a. <laughs> I don't think he meant it. Do you think he was thinking about you when he even tweeted that, or was it just kind of like he was just? I, well, he, he was offended. He said because they, he wasn't on like the. Oh, because I always show your knockout and yeah. Well, but he could beat me up, so I can't really talk shit. Yeah. I'm not even talking shit. Who who is he fighting this week again? Is Petrie still out there doing that? Um, yeah. so he's the headline this weekend, right? Oh yeah, Tiago Santos. Um, uh, let's see. The yeah. card's a little. Uh, well, that card. I, I not couldn't the tell you who's on it to be honest yet. Vincent Luque versus Jeff Neal. That's yeah. actually kind of fire. Sweet co-main. Jeff uh, Vincent Luque is always fun to watch. So is that Neal. Um, I'm Usman's brother. Sam Alvey, let's go too. Terrence yeah. McKenney is always pretty fun to watch. Cheap, cheap train wrecks. Yeah. Jason Witten's moving over from the Cowboys. <laughs> Fight Josh Quinlan. 
played with the Raiders before he retired. Really? Yeah. Brian Battle, I think he was the tough. That's a gr- oh, it's a boy. I think this he was a girl. I think um, he was the t- one of the tough in that. Yeah, that one's kind of wackety. I mean, next weekend we got Cheeto versus Dominic Cruz, which would be pretty entertaining. That one I'm, I'm interested in more so than these other ones. Um, yeah, so kind of a weak card this weekend, but it's whatever. We had last weekend we did the meet and greet. I had Schmitty come sit in this exact chair. Garrett came and recorded all of it. He's going to be taking over my TikToks and shit and dropping a couple of vlogs a month on YouTube. But uh, <laughs> sat in this chair. You saw when we got here, there's three bong set up. I just kept – Schmitty probably ripped the bong 40 times. It just trying insane. to finally get him high. He just handed him handfuls of gummies. Just oh, yeah, you were here for a little I bit. I was here for, yeah. But um, dabs. Yeah, he was like this. His eyes. I was the first time I seen him. Like, and then he got up and like I was like, "Damn, Schmitty's finally fried." Oh yeah, because he had to get up and like walk around. And I kept telling him too, I'm "Like Schmitty, what do you? Why do you keep doing that?" I, <laughs> he wasn't doing anything, but I kept saying it randomly. I just remember every once in a while, and I think I fucked with him a little bit. I'm like Schmitty, why do you keep doing that? He finally got up and like went in the kitchen. That was definitely the first time I've ever seen that dude, like high as a normal person. It was yeah. crazy. That was hilarious. <clears throat> But then even then, after a while, it kind of went away, and he was, like, already opening his yeah. eyes. I'm like, Jesus Christ, yeah. dude. His, his high would come down fast. He insane. said, if I didn't smoke all day, which I said you couldn't do, he said if he didn't smoke all day and, and did that, what he did that night, at night, he would get super high. I said, you couldn't not smoke all day. Yeah, I could, champ. I've never seen it. I don't never seen it he's gonna spend a fuck ton of money on weed huh i think no? he was saying he spends around five six hundred bucks a month on weed on weed just <sighs> but for some reason that's people think that's cool if you can smoke a lot it's like damn you're wasting five six hundred bucks he always makes fun of me because i can't smoke like him damn that's fucking crazy but it is what it is um, a lot of weed. There's a lot of weed. Dustin Poirier versus Michael Chandler just got announced for UFC 281 in Madison Square Garden. I wonder if Garden. that's gonna. That's probably not even gonna be the headline. I bet they're gonna have. Yeah, a they he- might find someone. I bet they'll have a headliner that's even crazier. That would be pretty. Huge. That'll probably be co-main because that's not for a belt or anything. I bet they'll have some crazy Connor. No, I don't think Connor. I feel like Connor would know, but well, I guess no. But that's still a while. Yeah. So Connor could be a. Who else could be it? John Jones, Nick Stipe. Diaz, yeah, John Jones. Um, who else? A massive star, Francis Price. Wouldn't I, I? don't know. I'm curious who the main event's gonna be on that one. Maybe no. <laughs> no. Brock Lesnar, Sean Lesnar. Um, Sean Lesnar's uncle. Whoa. I'm trying to think of who else could be even be. Maybe uh. They don't have that many superstars right now. Year versus Hill. If there's Clover, maybe. No. If they rematch that. I think they'll do Psycho. Well, I think Chandler versus Poirier is a fucking bigger fight than Yuri versus Clover. Yeah, but would they ever have a title fight not being, like... No. Masvidal versus... Oh, Masvidal would be... Oh, Burns. I know Masvidal just Burns. There have been... Yeah. I think they're... I bet they're going to do, like, a crazy fight, though. Even bigger. Something, hmm. some Madden Nunez versus John Jones type shit, like something crazy. You know what I'm saying? Think Shevchenko Nunez three would be huge. No, no. I mean, for a woman's fight, or like, what do you think that biggest fight is for Nunez? Because uh, like, are you talking like numbers wise? Yeah, wise? like yeah. I mean, it's the most dominant 35er and the most. I don't know. I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know who. I, I I don't really know that division. I couldn't tell you to be honest. Oh, dude, we've had birds. Our windows are like have like uh, mirrors on them or whatever, like so you can see. Like it, the, we've had birds fly into these windows and just die. I keep Sad. hearing them out. There, it sounds like <laughs> might have been a bird, dude. I ordered some shit for my Starlink. My Starlink works. The Wi-Fi works. It's better than what the shit I have right now. But I'm ordering this pole, so I'm gonna put it in a better spot. I'm ordering this Ethernet adapter so I can. Because it doesn't have, like, the modem on the Starlink doesn't have Ethernet. Oh. So I have to get an adapter. And I'm getting a 150 foot cord. So hopefully my internet will be fire and I can start um, streaming in that room. But I still have the apartment in September, October, November, December for four months. And it's hard to beat that thousand upload, thousand yeah. download. You should have pulled up on Elon yesterday when they'd shot the milk. Uh, I know. 
pulled up on Elon and punked his ass on give the me, Give me a fucking Model X, blood. Yeah. That's going to be an interesting podcast. I guess there's three hours. Oh, damn. I even heard there was a Sugar Sean name drop. Really? That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Elon dropped it? or Probably not <laughs> Elon. Um, because this guy's been bitching about me for years. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, Elon. I was looking into, because I had, you know, when you get a lot of money, it's like, okay, sitting when money sits in your bank, it doesn't do anything. You need to buy assets. You need to put it towards something. Um, I was like, well, kind of, I really wanted a Model X. Yeah. Don't need a Model X. So I was like, well, I could trade, sell Danny's car. For fifty thousand, whatever, and then get a hundred thousand dollar Model X. I'm only really spending fifty thousand. Could do that, but I'd have to get a used one. I don't want to get a used one that has more miles than my new, the one I bought you new. So I was like, well, fuck it, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna pay off the house. So we're sitting in a million dollar house, paid off. Oh, you did pay it off. Which is an, which is probably the smartest thing I could have done because now no matter what, shit hits the fan. I can't sell this house and be a millionaire still. So, wow. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Or I can buy another house somewhere else, live in that, and rent this out for per fi- per five, five, you know, four or five thousand dollars a month, Airbnb or whatever. So, just make a move, dude. <laughs> Cobra Tate's really getting to you, huh? Well, I've been paying this house off for a while. I just sat, finally said fucking did the whole, the rest of it. Um, but yeah, dude, he's a smart motherfucker. If you actually listen to his podcast, not anything to do with women or just just in general, he's a smart motherfucker. He's yeah. 35. He's lived all around the world. He's experienced a lot of stuff. His dad was a grandmaster chess player. Really? Who, in the stories he was telling about his dad, like he was the legend, could smoke people without even looking at the table. And he said he grew up playing chess and he was really, really good too. Won some tournaments, blah, blah, blah. But he's a, he's a smart, he's actually smart. He said he had an IQ of like 148, which is like genius. I think, I don't know the exact levels, but I think it's right around genius level. I Yeah, I I think I have, my, mine's up there too. Yeah, definitely. Um, At least half of it. But but this one part, he, he's on every, oh, fucking ton, above 140 near genius. Yeah. I think yeah. he said his was like 148. 148. Uh, He's smart. He's a fucking smart dude. It's fun. I, I, it's, I get he's coming to the fight. He's coming to the fight. Andrew Tate is coming to the fight, boys and girls. I'm not, is actually, he? October 22nd, Andrew Tate is going to be in Abu Dhabi. That's going to be sweet. Did he hit you? Per up? Oh, Kyle. Per Kyle. Um, where's my phone? I don't have it. Um, yeah, Kyle texted me. I said, yo, that pod was fire. And he said, trying to get, or I'm going to see if he wants to come. Then he texted me back and said he's coming or something. So, Andrew Tate. Top G. Top G's meeting another top G. Um. Yeah, so that'll be fire. You can take the f- private plane out to Romania right after and party God, with the top The thing G. about that is I'm going to be away from Elena and Danny for so long. But what's a couple more days? <laughs> no, but seriously, Drake, October 24th. I start Peter. Might be on the PJ next to Drizzy. Yeah, hitting my boy Drizzy. I don't know. I got options. I can pass that bitch like Stockton. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, now I got to get through a little Peter first. Uh, but yeah, Andrew Tate, hopefully pull up top G style. Show him who another real top G is. You know what I'm saying? Top G to the font, to the T. Logan Paul hints at Andrew Tate versus Jake Paul next, eh? Um, the way Andrew Tate hits mitts, uh, it, it's hard to say. So I think we talked about it last time. Hits mitts with hands down, and I know my hands are down, but this I'm I'm a, I'm the elite of the elite boys. Andrew Tate's hands down for boxing might not be good for, against Jake Paul. Jake Paul's, you know, been boxing consistently over the years, setting up his right hand, jab to the body. You know, Andrew Tate's been smoking cigars, fucking bitches, and, and hitting mitts every once in a while. So I think that would not be a good night for Andrew Tate. If I had to guess, kickboxing, it's different. I've never even really seen Andrew Tate kickbox, but it adds a different element to it. Um... Logan Paul, did I hear Logan Paul might be making a comeback, eh? He said he wants to get back in the ring in December. <clears throat> I don't. I, I I read Dylan Dennis somewhere. Really? Logan God, Paul, that would be Logan fucking... Paul confirms December return to boxing. <whistles> We're getting back into the ring. The Maverick has been in the boxing since June 2021. His last fight was against Floyd. Wow, it's been that long ago. I remember we did. did you sit right here with me? Yeah. You sat right here and watched it. Um. Yeah. 
Yeah, that would be cool. I saw Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis was a potential matchup. I don't know if Dylan's a big enough. St- it's hard for Logan to say, okay, where do we go from Floyd? You know what I mean? If you're an entertainer and you want numbers and that's what you're selling, you don't fight Dylan Dennis. If you're Logan Paul and you want to box because you want to fucking box and you want to win, because I think he's 0-1-1 or yeah, something. Yeah, I think so. Logan might just want to get in there and win. Fuck the numbers. It's going to sell regardless. Logan's a pretty good name. But Logan's a big name. Um, Dylan Dennis is a winnable, winnable fight. It would probably be pretty close. I feel like Logan's actually my. I, I've never met Dylan in person. I don't know how big he is, but I met Logan. Logan's a big boy. Yeah, he is huge. So I don't know, man. He's been crushing WWE. He's fucking athletic. He, yeah. Flying oh, you up. met him in purse, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. He's a big guy. When he told me to jump in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> That was fire. <laughs> God, it's fire. I miss hanging with the boys, Logan and Mike and, and Georgie. I miss hanging. Like, I guess we only hung out a couple times. But it was fun, man. It was fun. No, we just don't get to anymore. Well, they didn't, they didn't, they weren't at your last fight, were they? Or was, no, they don't fucking like me anymore. Big Mike was. Big Mike. Steve will do it. Comp- so what the fuck, Steven Delinardis? That's his name? I thought it was Steve will do it. I think it is. That's his real name, Stephen Dylan Artis. I thought it was Steve. <laughs> I thought it was Steve. We'll do it. What about Steve? He let me grab his girlfriend's boobs. I said, Steve, there's no way that your girlfriend's boobs are real. He was like, I swear to God, I really grab them. I'm like, are you sure? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right. I'm like, wow. They were real? They were real. That's a good friend right there, Stephen. Dylan Thank you, Artis. Steve, let me grab your girlfriend's boob. Um, he, he got banned on YouTube. For what? Permanently banned. The ban hammer hit him for what? Was he do something fucking <sighs> stupid? I don't, dude. He gives out money to a lot of people. I don't know how my channel got terminated. Didn't break any guidelines. Can you please check this out? Here's the link. If your channel was terminated, you should have received an email with more details. Next step: how to resolve it. I I don't know what he's. I wonder if it's hanging out with six nine. I wonder if it's he's back hanging with six nine. Yeah, they're boys now. Oh. Um, I don't know what it is. It's super weird because it, it seems like you watch his videos and all the comments are like, "Damn, that made me cry. That was awesome. That was heartwarming. You're the fucking man." Like it's all this bringing good energy and bring good shit to the world. There's nothing ever really where you're like, "Wow, you shouldn't have done he that." He says some funny shit, some dark humor, but that not shouldn't be. It. I mean, it's never crossing the line. Free Steve. <laughs> Hasn't he gotten banned before though? You got or, we got yeah banned, but now we got permanently deleted. Damn. They're addicted to UFC fame. Former champ Pettis tells fighters to pick guaranteed money instead. I've got fighters that will say no to more money just to get on the contender series. Uh, general probably looks like what? The contender series was fire this week, apparently. I watched a couple of clips, but I after heard last week. Knockouts. Yeah, after last week, Dana said, you guys got to get your shit together. And apparently, it was like the sickest Dana White contender series card ever. One of. No, they said the cool. Well, like, I mean, they got reasons. Did you see any of the knockouts? No. There were some pretty sweet ones. Um, guy was get, just getting destroyed. I heard about that. Uppercut. Warlick told me that. Boom, boom. Dropped him. Tell me about that shit. Some fun ones. Anything like... I don't know. Brittany Griner verdict. Oh, she oh, got... live update. She just got charged for like 15 years. Sentenced 15 years what? for that, I think. Are you serious? I thought they were going to trade her. I thought they were trading her ass too. But it's I'm pretty sure... Fucked. That's so crazy. Her life is just different now. Unless... Yeah, unless they can find a way to get her, but I think she just got sentenced to like 15 years. Well, after I beat up Peter, I'll fucking have a chit chat with him. I'll sit him down and say, "Hey, Peter, nine years in prison." Whew. Alex Jones trial jury deliberates under his any hook case. What the fuck? That's crazy. That's she was also fined one million rubles. What do no. you think? How much do you think that is in U.S. dollars? Hundred thousand. No, I don't know. It's only sixteen thousand. Really? Yeah. A million rubles? Yeah. Damn, I want to fuck. 16,500, I guess. That's crazy. That is Logan up. Paul hints that in that an upcoming Jake Paul podcast, they discuss Andrew Chase call out. <laughs> See, that would be a big fight. That would be... Well, I'm trying to think... What but it doesn't really... I feel like it doesn't put Jake where he wants to be when it comes to No, but fighting. at the end of the day, Jake's an entertainer. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he, he you know, if Andrew... It, it's crazy how people just randomly pop up. Like Andrew Tate, brand new pop. Someone else is gonna pop up and fucking take over the internet here in the next couple of years or whatever. You just never fucking know. 
Not quite like Andrew Tate, man. I don't think. No, I haven't seen nothing like that. Did you see uh I guess the Island Boys came up for a little bit. That was kind of crazy. Yeah. They had a weird takeover. But they weren't even as interesting I would love as Andrew to see Tate. Their bank account. I would love to see what what kind of cheddar they're sitting with. Or if you know what I mean. Yeah. See if it um, lost it all. KSI's having a pretty big boxing I thought, coming up August twenty seventh, I think. I thought who we was fighting got pulled. No, I think he's still fighting. Um, oh, what's that dude? Wasabi. Name? Alex Wasabi. Yeah. But then, what about Austin McBroom versus that other guy? That's been like postponed or, or canceled. Or there's something with that one that's been postponed. All but. these events getting canceled and postponed and shit just goes to show you how good the UFC is. Yeah. They put on shows every weekend, and they're doing the Contender Series. Yeah. They are just an in- dude. The company, the UFC, Dana was built, and the boys. It's fucking insane to be able to put on shows as much as they do and the Contender Series and do all the extra shit they do. And it's, I think it's only going to continue to get better as people get more and yeah, more Yeah, for sure. The used sport's to still growing sport. crazy. Um, Lil Pump put out a bit, um, ooh, a little video splurging. Go watch that. Um, I was thinking about going to the last Contender Series. So in three weeks, I think it's their la- the finale. I was thinking about going, sitting cage side with Dana. Just make an appearance just to do it? Just to do it. Uh, is that... I think there's a big wrestler guy coming and fighting. Bo Nickel. Oh, he's on the contender? Yeah, I think he's fighting soon. I don't know which one he's on, but Bo Nickel's Whoa. pretty hyped. Sounds like... Look at that. Whoa. Contender status. DWCS, dude. Come on. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Contender series. Yeah, Bo Nickel's a great wrestler. Um... I don't know, dude. Petri. Uh, I don't really got uh, shit else. Got brand like I said, brand is later. It's about it. I'm gonna price stream later. Um, what Dude. else we got going on? We it's actually have an day, NFL man. preseason game today. Really? Raiders. That came, that came quick. Raiders Jaguars. Ooh. Yeah. The Jaguars is uh who's that one quarterback for the Jaguars played a long time ago that I would remember? Byron Leftwich. Yeah, Big B <laughs> Byron Leftwich still playing. No, he actually ah. coaches for the Bucks, I think. Ah man. Quarterback's coach. No. Poor Leftwich isn't playing no more. But NFL's gonna be fun starting soon. I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, That's gonna be good. I wanna go to some games after I get out of the fight camp and just go to some games. My boy uh Joey B. Oh. I can play catch with him on my shoulder a little bit. Do they play the Cardinals this year? That'd be sweet. I'd be torn. They'd be torn. I want to look. That'd be awesome. Hopefully it's not a double XP weekend. You know. No shit. Come on, Kyler. Uh, preseason Steelers. UFC news. Yeah, not a lot of shit going on in the UFC right now. Nothing crazy. They don't play the cards. Um, Gilbert Burns said he'd love to be the shit out of fucking Conor McGregor, but who, everyone's kind of already said that. Um, you been gambling? It's not legal in California, so no there. And it's not legal in South Dakota, and I've been gone for two weeks, so oh. not really. But oh, wow. I almost won 240 off of a parlay. Oh, yeah. But Man, Nunez, right? Yeah, well, Pena was my last leg <sighs> off a $5 free bet. Damn it. Couldn't quite get the job done, so I lost all my money. I people are saying that was a dominating performance over Amanda Nunez. I didn't see it like that. My high ass watching it seemed like it was a pretty close fight. There's a lot of times where Amanda was in danger. Even but, when she was on top, like so there were submissions getting thrown up. There was shit getting locked in. Those arm bars were close. Like she had yeah. a couple of triangles, not necessarily locked up, but she was threatening. I didn't see and her it as face a, was pretty. I did not see it as a dumb. dominating win by Amanda Nunez by any means. I think the scorecards. I think it was fifty. Well, even Dana 45. was saying like it was just such a dominating fight. But I'm like, I thought it was pretty close. Pena's a tough son of a bitch, huh? She is. She's fucking she really tough. Me up. There's Sorry. a couple times Nunez was punched, literally took her off her feet though, and she just yeah. boom kept Nunez going. Nunez hits like a truck. Pena's Pena's right side of her face was all fucked up. Yeah, she almost got submitted a couple times. I don't really. They looked like they were close. Yeah, no, I thought it was a pretty close fight. Um, definitely not what the scorecards looked like. Will it be a trilogy? That's probably Amanda's next fight. Well, or Shevchenko trilogy. I feel like those are the only two that you can really make with. Yeah, that's true. Shevchenko. Shevchenko, Shevchenko. I got a Bisbing's podcast in 30 minutes. I'm going to hop on there, shoot the shit. What is, which one is he? 
Like just as Believe me you Believe you me That one Believe oh. me um, Were you uh, just on a def- different podcast? I saw a clip on you on Instagram I hadn't seen I didn't know you were I was trying to think of what it was I think that you're probably talking about Where me and Tim were in Miami And what was the podcast called? Tim Mo Sugar Show Oh no 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 This one was like Garrett's been breaking up a bunch of clips from a long time ago too. God, I can't remember. Was you were wearing hair? a you were wearing like an undefeated jersey, and you had like pink, I think pink and green hair, maybe undefeated a jersey. I mean the, the yeah the black, the black and, and gold. gold undefeated. I don't know, dude. Yeah. I heard you got games in with Lil Badger. Dude, okay. First of all, fuck <laughs> war like he tells us twelve year old shave your eyebrows. You can play with Sean. I never confirmed that. I didn't even know that was said. I get a fucking message from Tim. With a screen, a picture of this kid with no eyebrows. I said, "What the fuck?" <laughs> he said, "This kid said he'd shaved his eyebrows to play with you." I'm like, "What the fuck? Why?" I find out Warlike told him, "That's fucked up," but it worked. I felt bad. I was like, "What the hell?" So little Badger gets in, 12 years old, says, "I listen to the podcast every day. Um, you know, I I go to jiu-jitsu. I want to be the best. Uh, I meditate one minute in the morning, one minute at night. I've learned so much from you guys' podcast." I listen to the Bro Malley show, the Timbo Sugar show, every time it, it gets me through uh, the day. His dad recently passed away. Mm-hmm. His mom has, so she has four boys, like 12, 14, 16, 17, something like that. Four wild little boys. And uh, so I'm playing with them and learning all this shit. I was like, holy cow. And now this fucker has no eyebrows and just started school. But he did say, <laughs> I actually talked to more chicks with no eyebrows. Well, I was like, yeah, that's probably because they were wondering what the fuck's wrong with his face. But, <laughs> hey, whatever you got to do to get it. But he also gets, he's 12, he gets to go and tell the boys, I played with shit with Sean. Oh, so yeah. So it's a win. It's like, a, it's a, it's a, it's tough. It's tough. But it's a tough trade. Send him a bunch of sugar merch. I'm going to. Oh, yeah. He, did you see the picture of him rocking and all? Oh, he got it? Yeah, he, because he's been in my Discord forever. <laughs> a little badge. I've been... Oh, he, he, yeah, he freestyles. He does that. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Little badge. Said, damn, two jerseys, socks, couple tees, ball. Damn, little you badge. You hooked up for his eyebrows. Yeah. You got fifty bucks. That's a couple. That's that's like five hundred dollars worth of merch right there. And uh, I messaged Sanibel and had him. I'm gonna have him sent. He does jitsu. He's gonna get a bunch of geese and and some rash guards and shit. <laughs> that's funny. Well, he shaved his. head. Did you hear why he shaved his head? No. Because on, with your he bet his older brother on your fight against Munoz, if he if you won he got five dollars if you lost he should shave his head, but apparently he he, sh- he took it his brother his older brother said it was a loss and or that it was a no contest either way that he still had to shave his head and he couldn't fight back <laughs> no so oh. he had his head shaved his eyebrows shaved all because of you well it's all up from there a little bad it's all up from there buddy he's predicting his first three. Three division UFC champ. That's what yep. he's telling me. Bad. That's what I heard. He told me not to do it because he wants to become the first three division world champ. He, he's gonna. He said he's gonna get into the rap game first. Okay. So then that brings his popularity to the UFC. It's a good so idea. He's gonna sign with some record labels. It's a good idea, Badge. I like that. Come to the UFC. But I did ask him, "Hey, we're gaming right now. Why aren't you? Uh, why aren't you at the at the gym?" He's like, "Well, I'm not gonna lie. I should be. I should be there." <laughs> he's pretty funny for it. <laughs> He's, he said he's been through a lot. He's seen a lot of shit. Yeah. You know, he's fucking learning from the Stimbo Sugar Show, the Bro Malley Show, or speech. We're straight. Uh, I told him, you don't need to go to school, dude. Just study me. No, I'm kidding. Totally kidding. Graduate middle school, drop out. Jokes, I'm kidding again. Graduate high school. College, up to you. He's, he's going to be a three division champ and sign with a record label. Uh, yeah. If he drops out before, he can. I said, Badge, let me talk to your mom on the mic. So I talked to his mom on the mic. I said, hey, ma'am. I just want you to know, I wasn't the one to tell you, or tell your son to shave his eyebrows to play with me. And she was said, oh, good. I was really, like, he's 12 years old. I said, yeah, I know. I, I, that was not me. <laughs> blue face versus face tempers coming up? Oh, that's on the KSI card, yeah. Damn, blue face just got in a fight with his boo, didn't he? Didn't you see that? I saw he offered his girl, like, a hundred grand to leave him <laughs> or something like that. That's not bad. <laughs> um... He just got in a fight with uh, his girl. I saw it on Snapchat. Damn, like a real fight? Yeah, like she was tossing him around. He fucking slapped her up a little bit. Jesus. Um, I guess it's warming up for his fight. Yeah, no true. Face temp. That's fire, though. Damn, so Blue Face is a boxer. He's 1-0, right? Or no, 
Yeah, right. yeah, he beat um a TikTok kid. That's right, that's right, that's right. It was a great fight. That's right, that's right, that's right. Um, well, there's just not a lot like going on. Not a hell of a lot going on here in the old. World Anthony of Pettis news. said that he, on the Helwani show that they mailed the UFC would mail him like million dollar bonus checks for winning titles or something. I heard DC say that. Oh yeah, yeah. Pa- Pettis Anthony said Pettis too? said it too. Like I think a couple days ago, Damn. I was confused. Really? Like, was it a surprise? It sounded like it was almost like a surprise yeah. check. Um, yeah. Daniel Cormier said he after his last fight with or John Jones or his first fight with John Jones, like 2015 or whatever, he lost, made whatever money he made, and he said randomly, I think he said randomly, UFC mailed him. Said the fight did fucking absolutely insane. It was great, and sent him a million dollars. Wow. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. I know. I'm bad so little mine, payday so. in the mail. Yeah, Stephen Ray confident his mental edge in rematch against. Oh, Anthony Pettis or Stephen Ray? Stephen Ray is a pretty good kickboxer. Jakar Close, Tony Ferguson with so many new seeing you get a title shot. Jakar Close eyeball bagging million dollar PFL. <sighs> yeah. yeah, Tony Jakar won. Called out Tony Ferguson. Top PFL purses. That's crazy. Yeah, PFL's play, making some chatter. I mean, you, may, you can make some chatter over there. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know about all that, man. Just sign a one-year, I mean, a one-fight contract. Fight for the belt over there and then hop back. Well, you have to earn the belt. You have to win enough. Oh, you do? You have to win a whole, it's like a season. You start oh. from, you beat this guy, you get one point. You finish this guy, you get two points. You lose to that guy, you can still, I don't know. I don't really So whoever know. has the most points fights for the title or something? Kind of. I think hmm. they're like the semifinals and shit, but yeah. That's I don't know. Just different, a little different. It's like the first company that's done like a season, really. I think multiple have tried. I think they're the only ones that are kind of succeeding at it. I don't even know if you could say succeeding. I don't know if the, what their profit loss is, if they're making money yet. I don't know, dude. <sighs> I don't know, man. It's about it. It's about it for me. About yeah. all I can spit out of my fucking lips. It's finally. It rained this morning at like four. I went outside and sat out there. It was fucking sweet. A little lightning, it was little thunder. Yeah, it was cool. Um, it's about it. Baptized myself again outside. It was fire. Praise be to the Lord. Amen to that. All right, boys. We'll see you guys on the tripod. <coughs> Jokes. Well, kind of. Well, we guys were putting out vlogs and shit. So all on right. the tripod. Yeah. What's that? A pod with three stands, like that, a tripod. Why would they see us on the tripod? If you're vlogging and you use a tripod and they see you on the... Like, they're seeing me right now. Right now, they're seeing us on the tripod. Okay. You know what I mean? So, that's episode 75. Three-fourths of the way to the million. <laughs> Same see shit.